Welcome back to another aimlab guide. When using aimlab you might have noticed the same task in multiple categories. This can look a bit confusing but let me break this down for you and you'll have no problem understanding the difference. You'll see which mode will be running during the task under the name of the task itself. Let's run with spider shot for an example here. Spider shot appears across flicking which has the ultimate version of the task, the precision category which includes the precision version and speed category which includes the speed version. To start we'll take a look at the precision version of spider shot. On the precision mode, the targets will start big and then decrease in size the more you consecutively hit. If you start missing shots, the targets will increase back in size to help you regain your footing and then decrease once again, overall increasing your precision. The speed version of the task have targets of the same size, but they'll adapt the time they're available to be shot based on how fast you're shooting them. For example, if you're really quick at shooting the targets, the orb, which isn't the one in the center, will only be available to be shot for a very short amount of time. However, if you're shooting targets slowly, this orb will be available for a longer duration to be shot, dynamically adapting to your task run and helping you increase your speed. The ultimate version of spider shot found in the flicking category combines both the speed and precision categories together. You have to be precise, but also speedy as the targets dynamically change based on how well you're doing, but also the duration of the targets. Therefore, rightly so, this is the ultimate version of spider shot. The tasks will vary in difference for each of the modes, so make sure to check the description on the right side of the selected task. Grid shot precision, for example, has targets which decrease in size the more consecutive shots you hit, whereas the speed version has targets which instantly decrease in size. Overall, each mode is designed to help you improve that specific attribute, so the similarities of each mode will be present in any of the tasks that you play on that mode. I hope this video helps you understand the different modes a little better. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button for more great content. You can also follow us over on social media where we serve some of the spiciest memes and best pro plays. Happy training.